Well, hi. How are you? I'm just wondering, I uh, pastor a church in the Pittsburgh suburban area, a city called New Kensington. Pastor Church of God, uh, Cleveland, Tennessee, Church of God, Pentecostal, Holy Rollers, you know. Spirit-filled Christians. Uh, and I've been getting, over the last month, I've been getting uh, all this stuff from the uh, fundamentalist, wait a minute, let me, let me find it. The Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, there's the, you know, I've been getting these things, letters and books. And I guess this is uh, Warren Jeffs. You know, if you've heard of Warren Jeffs, he's the one who uh, was the uh, child predator. He's serving time in prison for child molesting and incest and all those things. These people, they're fundamental Mormons is what they are. And and the reason why they call themselves fundamental is because they fashion their lives after the teachings of Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, who taught uh, plural marriages, polygamy. They marry uh, their, their, their siblings, their children. They'll take young girls and take them as their wives and teach it as doctrine that... Uh, you know, if you want to do what God wants you to do, you ought to take children and molest them. Uh, they're predators, is what they are. Warren Jeffs is a predator. But he calls himself a prophet. And, and they're sending me these books. Uh, I don't know, are there any other pastors out there getting this junk? This is uh, Jesus Christ's son, Amen, sendeth power word of warning to all peoples of earth, warning of judgments of full power to call on all to repent, Thus I am just and of full authority to render judgment on all nations. I guess Warren Jeffs figures he's the uh, the prophet for today, and it's just full of junk. I mean, I've just, uh, there's this other guy named Vaughn Taylor, a patriarch in the fundamentalist church, and John Barlow, and these names in here that they're proclaiming all this stuff. And um, it's just a bunch of, you know, uh, Warren Jeffs. President, Warren S. Jeffs, President of Church of Jesus Christ, representative of our Lord and God, who is Jesus Christ. Now, Mormons will dis disown this guy, uh, and they'll say that, you know, he's not really a Mormon. But these, these people, and other groups like them, there are other splinter groups that say that they are the true Mormons. He would, this fellow would say that the, the big, you know, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is nothing but Nothing but a uh, just a prostitution of, of what Joseph Smith really taught. And indeed, these guys are really, they're fundamental. They're going back to the basic teachings of Joseph Smith and Brigham Young. Um, they practiced polygamy openly until they wanted to make Utah a state. Then all of a sudden, God changed his mind and figured it was okay to make polygamy instead of an actual thing, to make it a spiritual thing, and they go in their temples and... Uh, you know, seal marriages and all this other nonsense. But um, anyhow, I just wonder if there's any preachers out there or pastors who are who, who are getting this stuff. I don't know why I'm getting it. I've never subscribed to anything. Uh, I've never been on any of their websites. I've never given my name or address uh, to them, and they're sending me a lot of junk. I mean, I've it's been about a month now. I've, every week, I probably get four or five pieces of mail from them. Uh, some of them books, some of them big pieces of mail like that, and whatever. But anyhow, uh, so I uh, just uh, thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, if you're not a Christian, please put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Uh, he is the Messiah. He is God in the flesh who came to save sinners, just like me and just like you. So uh, put your faith and trust in him. Call upon the name. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You don't have to be a Mormon. God, please don't be a Mormon because they're, they're out of here. But uh, you don't have to join my church. You don't have to, you know, subscribe to who me is your pastor. That's just, it's Christ and the blood that he shed on Calvary. That's why we're saved. That's, that's who died for us, who died for you and who died for me. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.